So here we are. Let's start at the beginning. This is how to make just a very simple filthy. There's a bazillion ways to do it, I'm sure. This is how I want to do it. I have, first off, we'll click on this home button up here. And I'm going to go to my design page settings. I guess it's just design settings. And this is where you choose your hoop. You can choose whatever. I'm on a single needle because it just keeps the hoop going the right direction. Um, and I'm just on the 4x4 four four hoop. I want this button up here. And this is my drawing tool. This is open so it won't close. You can see right here it says open. Then I'm going to click on this. I have it set to my triple stitch. You can choose whatever you want of this. I like it on the triple stitch to begin with. I'm going to choose red thread over here. And the only reason I'm choosing red thread is because it's easiest to see. Now, I'm going to start off with this one. This one up here um, makes a straight. You can see how it's the little straight looking thing. This is linked to my Z key. If I click my X, well, I lied. My computer only sometimes does it. That one goes, see how it's the, the curvy up there? But I want on this one. Once I start drawing, so I'm going to click right here. I'm going to make this straight. Click right there. Go down just a little bit. And I'm going to click my X key on my computer. Do you see how there's my Z, there's my X? See how it changes that little thing? That makes it curves. Um, so I'm going to click here and here and here. And here, and then I'm going to go down and there, and click, and click, and double click. So clearly I'm making a little bit of, well maybe it's not clear, it's a wine glass. Um, I'm going to click up here, and on these it's my select points. My wine glass is a little fat, so I'm just going to um, hold my mouse button down and draw over them, and then I click my arrow key over there. And then I'm going to highlight these by holding my mouse button down, and we're going to move those down too. I'm going to go to my home button, and my zoom, and the plus, and zoom in some. Then I click on this one again. I'm going to click on this and click delete. I don't really need that guy. I'm going to move this one down a little. This one, I'm going to move down here. These are the little tails. You can edit those however you need. I want mine to look like that. And I think I need my wine glass taller, right? should really think of the fact that I don't drink wine before I started this, but we'll go with it. And I'm going to scroll down. And I want this a little bit further back. So again, I just highlight them and go across. I'll click off it, and now you can see all of your stitches. This right here is just a little bit, yeah. I don't know what else to describe it as. I want it a little bit rounder, more round. I'm not sure which one is the word. All right, so when I click on this, I'm going to go over here. It naturally sets to a 0 .08 inch. Um, if you're in millimeters, you can click this little teeny thing and it changes it to millimeters. I don't do millimeters. I just do inches. Um, let's go to a point 10. It gives it a slightly longer and since this is still long enough, we'll take it. I'm going to click on this and then my big arrow. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and draw over it. Control C, Control V, and Control J. Control C copies, Control V paste, Control J flips sideways. I don't know how you say that, sorry. Back and forth to the side. I don't know, horizontal or vertical, whichever one that is. Again, I'm just using my arrows to no. lining over it. Abby, thank you for sending me video or pictures of my stitches out, stitch outs. I'm gonna go down here. I want this to connect just right. So I'm gonna make an extra point somewhere in here. Oh, sometimes the program doesn't like it. Let's try it again. No oh, program. All right. Then we're just going to edit this to make this a little more straight and back up. And I'm going to click on this side. I'm going to make them go right over each other and then go straight. So that is nice and, oopsie, click off. Nice and straight now. And let's go up to the top. Where did I connect up here? I click on this. Here's my last little pointy thing. Put that in the middle. And that one's in the middle. 
So then we're going to zoom down. Now, we're going to click over here, Optimize Entry Exit Points. Click. And then we're going to click off it. And then expand this. So this one, I'm going to double click on my order. And then I'm going to come up here and this. This shows you where it's starting. It points to the thing where it starts. I want it to start right there. And then it goes down and all the way down to here. And then my next section starts down here and it ends there. I don't like that because there's no reason to stitch all the way up here and then triple stitch down. So I'm going to start moving them and I'm just dragging them around. And I want them to be about equal. So this one starts there, goes down to there. This one ends, so it'll go back to there. And then I need that one to line up. Otherwise, it'll jump stitch. And you don't want it to jump. You want it to be a continuous thing. So I'll show you. Um, if I move it over here, do you see this little teeny tiny dot, 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 dots? That's showing you it jumps. We want them on top of each other. So then this one ends right there. And then this one starts. So it'll be a continuous sequence of stitching. You know what? I'm going to save it. File, save as. Um, I have like a bazillion things. Um, I was working on a wine one earlier. This is my fantastic um, sorting system. Clippies, clippies. We're going to go with wine glass. Uh, and we'll name this wine glass underscore filthy underscore two inch. Now, is it two inches? Oh, I can't see actually because my little timer thing is in there. Underneath here, you can see normally how big it is. But we'll try to use the grid. I'm going to get my big selector. So it is, these are each half inches. Oh, if you want to adjust these, you go to view, show grid. I like mine with the axis. If you don't, then you just get the little dots. That's too hard for me. Mine are at 0.5 inches, so they're half an inch. So there's half one, half two. That is too big. Zoop. I'm just dragging it by the corner in. There. So I think this is more goblety than line glass, but you know, that is my one year old in the background. You'll hear him a lot. He's a monster. He's adorable and the cutest thing ever, but uh, he's a little sketchy. All right, we're going back to here. This is a little too tall. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to highlight these three and go arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down. There was five arrow downs. The downs and ups barely move. So I need to do it on both sides to keep them symmetrical. Two, three, four, five. You can barely tell. I'm going to go five more. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do it on this side again. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Mm, I don't think I got that one. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, and I think my wine glass is too fat. So we'll select the whole thing again just by double clicking. And then we're just going to go shrink, dragging it in. Oh, that's so much more. You know what? I think wine glasses are curved on the top. Look at me go. All right. So I'm going to highlight this one and go one, two. <gasps> that much so much more whiny. One, two. Okay, so now we are set. So now it's on a triple stitch. For a filthy, that's not what you want. You want it to do the outline. So I'm going to double click on it. Control C, Control V, color orange. I didn't actually click it. <laughs> All right, so let's try that again. I'm going to click on the whole thing now. Control C, Control V, pick a different color. So now you can see over here in the stitching order, you have two different colors. The first one, this needs to be a running stitch. I like it on a 12. It goes naturally to an 8. It's the default. I'm going to change that to a 12. So now it's going to do all this. Let's monogram this just because, you know, I live in Texas, so everything has to get monogrammed. We'll put an A for Adrian. Wait, no, we want a B for bows and clothes. So I'm going to click on it, go over here, and change that to a B for bows and clothes. Now my sewing attributes, I like the understitching, and I'm going to change this to 145, and my pull comp to 1. And then we can just click on this, enlarge it just a little, put it in the middle, there, yeah. Now, your 
final stitch has to be the triple stitch, so it goes last. Control S to save. And there is a wine glass. It's not beautiful, I get it, but it's the most simple thing I could come up with. Hope that helps. Enjoy!